Hi everyone. Um, so today and for the next few weeks, I am not going to be doing any tutorials on how to create synth sounds, um, because I am uh, putting together a refill pack, a reason refill pack, um, which has some of the sounds that I've been doing tutorials on it, and a lot more that I've not done any tutorials on. Um, so I think it's going to have about thirty-five to forty combinator patches. Um, so for the next few weeks while I'm finishing up that I am going to be looking at different aspects of sound production and if you want to suggest something uh, write a comment on my YouTube wall and or even my Facebook wall or whatever um, yep suggesting anything that isn't a synth tutorial uh, and this week we're going to look at how I set compressors um, I'm gonna be doing it on a snare, but it's the same technique's gonna to apply to any any device you you want. But first of all, I've had a couple of comments from people struggling to find out how to send me a private message on YouTube in order to get the Avachi and Swedish House Mafia slash Knife Party patches. So if you go onto my Facebook page, uh, YouTube page, sorry, in the featured tab, and scroll down on the right hand side right here where it says created by last active a blah 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 there should be a button that says send message I don't think there's one there for me because I can't send myself a message but I'll show you on spinning records channel so on the right hand side that created by in between that and last activity you've got the send message button so if you haven't done that already and still struggling how to do it find out how to do it um, that should be how to do it so anyway um, yeah, so I'm going to play you just the soloed snare passage with the processing on and then I'm going to play it with the, the processing off and show you how I compressed it to get the sound I've got. So here is the snare with everything on. Now just bypass all the effects. So you can see without the effects on it's quite a dull flat sound. Um so in case you're wondering, the snare I'm using is from a Thomas Penton Drums Essential um sample pack, it's quite an old one. Uh, it's snare eighteen I'm using and I think I have detuned it uh, slightly to get a bit of a deeper sound. So I'll just dive right in and show you how to, how I compressed it. Um, this technique I'm going to show you I actually learned from a book called Mixing with Your Mind. Um, I can't remember who the author is, but it's a really good book. It's got lots of great advice and tips on how well all different aspects of recording and sound production and mixing. So the way I start off with any compressor is I put the input gain right up. The threshold right down, the ratio right up, the attack right down, the release right up, and the output gain right up. Um, now if I play this, it's going to sound pretty horrible. But the reason to, to set this, like set set it up like this in the beginning, is it allows you to hear the attack and the release, and the transients a lot clearer. So it it allows you to, well it makes it easier for you to pick the right settings for the attack and release. So I'll just I'll play about with the attack whilst this is playing so you can hear what I'm talking about. So you can hear quite clearly where the compressor is kicking in there, which makes it a lot easier to set these attack and release settings. So I'm just gonna set the attack to where I want it. And then next up I'm gonna set the release in the same way so now if you're wanting quite a snappy poppy sound like that 
generally a slower attack and a faster release will give you that which yeah, I've done here so I don't know how well it, you can hear this through the video on YouTube but you can definitely hear the attack especially where um, the difference is when you're you're playing it when it's set up like this so firstly you set your attack then set your release and then after that you're going to want to bring the output gain down a bit and it doesn't matter exactly where it is because you can fiddle about with that once we've set the ratio and the threshold so now we're going to set the ratio which is obviously how much um, compression is, com uh, is applied to the signal so for the ratio we just play it now I've got quite a high ratio here because I want quite a high compressed signal to come out so set at 8.3 over 1 um, yeah. so now we're going to bring the input gain down slightly so it's not really really loud when we pull down the threshold so obviously at a threshold of this of minus 36 the compressor is basically always on now I'm going to bring this down till I till in my head anyway I feel that it's, it's a suitable threshold for the compressor kicking up sounding good to me um, and then finally the final stage setting your input and output gain so if you just center the output gain and the input gain play it and then play around with the input gain firstly And there you go, that's um, well my method of compressing, using compressor and setting compressor settings. And this can be applied to anything, you know, synth, clap, kick, snare, whatever you want. So I'll just play you with, uh, play you the snare without the compressor on again. Now put it on. So as you can hear it's a lot snappier and a bit more powerful with the compressor on and then I went ahead and added a maximizer to kind of give the the snare a bit more punch and just bring up the level. So I'll turn that on. And again with the maximizer I use similar um, attack and release settings. So again, a slow attack and a fast release, that combination will give you that snappy sort of sound. I'll show you the difference between um, a slow attack and a fast attack, and a fast attack and a slow release, um, and see, see if you notice the difference. See, it sounds a lot flatter with the fast attack and slow release for, for this particular sound. I'm not saying do this all the time. It really depends on what you're compressing. But I'll put that back to there. I've brought up the input gain and the output gain slightly. And I've turned on the soft clip, which kind of smooths out the clipping um, of the maximizer. And this amount here is controls how much um, soft clipping is happening. So I then went and EQ'd it with a couple of EQs to bring out the bottom end to get a really deep sound and bring out the snappy end at the top as well so I'll put these two equalizers on as well and then the final thing I'd done was I wanted a really big deep snappy snare so I added a whole reverb to it and the final result is this
So once more, I'll play it with um, all those effects um, bypassed. And then with it on. So you can hear there's a massive, massive difference between those two sounds. So that is basically today's tutorial. Like I said, leave a comment for your suggestions on what I should do next week um, for different different areas of sound production. Um, yeah, and also I am finishing up this refill pack. I think I'm going to put maybe a poll on my Facebook page and I'll let you guys add to that poll and you can suggest um, simps that you want on the refill pack. I might pick one or two of the most voted simps and remake them and put them in the refill pack too. So I'll probably do that next couple of days. So check that out and I'll see you next week. Thank you.